Right, here we go then, back with another random match. This time, Humberto Carrillo versus Andrade. Of course, Humberto, this is his first appearance on the game this year. Um, sort of came out of nowhere over the last 12 months. I've been really um, shot into the, the limelight, really. Came into NXT, barely did anything in NXT, did he? He just popped up on uh, 205 Live, and now, um, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, because I've not been keeping up with WWE a lot recently, I must admit. I'm much more of an AEW man now. But I believe he um, got drafted to Raw, didn't he, as well? So he's not even still on 205 Live or NXT. He's up on Raw now, which shows how much they believe in him. And I feel like they've got Andrade on SmackDown as the main South American or the main uh, Mexican draw. And they've got the same with Carrillo on Raw, maybe. They're going to boost him to be the main sort of man to try and bring that uh, Latin American audience in. But this should be an interesting one. I think stats-wise, it's very much in favor of Andrade in this match. But... Uh, to wait and see what happens. Uh, still a couple of little glitchy moments here and there, aren't there, really? I mean, there has been a big patch so far on this game that has fixed a lot of the bugs, apparently. But it makes me wonder if they can if they can create a patch to fix the bugs that quickly. Why weren't the bugs ironed out before the game was released? Surely they had people playtesting, surely. But there you go. That's 2K now, and whoever's taken over from Ukes, I suppose. Nice sit-out powerbomb there, Liger Bomb style by Andrade. Not enough. And Burton now pushing Andrade away. And takes him up into that big, flat-faced DDT. Bringing Andrade back up to his feet. Went for the boot to the side of the head and then caught him with that spinning heel kick to the face. A boot in the shin as well before now a boot in the back of the leg. Korea now bringing Andrade back up. Looking for that vertical suplex, but Andrade fighting it back into a vertical suplex of his own. Now brings Humberto back up, and Humberto fighting back, taking Andrade down before now. Heading up to the top. He's quite a distance away from Andrade here, but he's still going to go for it. Wow. I'm not even sure what that was, to be honest with you. It was effective, though, wasn't it? It was like some sort of corkscrew moonsault, I suppose. It's the best way of describing it. Nice reverse DDT takedown there by Humberto Carrillo. Now bringing Andrade back up to his feet, but Andrade fighting back with the boot in the gut and then the Huracarana. Boot across the chest of Carrillo as well. Andrade is someone that I feel like is, is destined to be a top, top star in WWE. He has to be. He really does. He's just such a fantastic in-ring competitor. And um, he has the charisma. A bit like Nakamura. Just has that charisma without talking. Just that aura about him that makes him who he is. Andrade now bringing Carrillo back up to his feet. And Korea is in charge. Sorry, my uh, my kitten has just decided to start licking my my armpit. And it was very ticklish. What are you doing, you big boo? Okay. Anyway, Andrade in control once again with the drop kick. Now in control of the arm, gonna bring Korea up a monkey flip him over the top. Andrade now sending Korea into the corner. Back elbow then into that tornado. Head scissors takedown eventually. But now Korea getting distracted on the outside by Zelina Vega. There's a crucifix pin. Can Andrade take advantage? He does. Wow, that is... A I like that. I do like that. I really like that. So the game has sold the fact that um, Zelina Vega has distracted Humberto Carrillo to the point where Andrade was able to creep up behind him, catch him in the crucifix pin, and get this sneaky freak out. I like that. It makes managers a lot more useful when you can do sneaky little things like that. I'll tell you what. I'm happy with that. I mean, that was something that was in last year's game, I believe, but it, I don't remember seeing it much in last year's game. No, I don't remember anyone ever getting a pin from it, to be honest. But I like that, and as you can see, it's always, it's got the uh, victory at the end as well, where 
Carrillo is having a go at the referee and saying that the cheating happened. The referee saying, well, I didn't see anything. And uh, Andrade gets the win. I like that. I really do like that ending. I mean, it wasn't the longest match in the world. It was quite short in the end. But I do like the way that it all came across. Anyway, if you have enjoyed that, please do hit a like. Of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. And we'll be back again tomorrow for some more random matches on WWE 2K20. Of course, if you have any suggestions for random matches you want to see, drop them down in the comment section down below. I'll get them added onto our list. They'll get picked at random. And if yours is the one that gets picked and uploaded, obviously you get a shout out in the process. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.